Greg Barton is an expert on terrorism and a professor of politics at Deakin University in Kuala Lumpur. He joins me now. Greg, good to see you again. Critical, spell that out for us. What exactly does that mean? What does it look like? Well, that puts the UK back on the very highest terror alert level. We're back where we were after the 7-7 uh, attacks on the London subway system on uh, July 2005, 12 years ago. What it means in practical terms is it triggers a series of cascading resource shifts. Uh, we've been told that um, armed military personnel will replace uh, armed police on some uh, public security points, freeing up those police officers to carry on with investigations. Of course, the work of counterterrorism is really the work of police. And by bringing it in, it, it spares some of those uh, those police personnel to focus on these investigations. Clearly, uh, Prime Minister May, uh, May, whose cabinet uh, has has met the so-called COBRA, the uh, crisis response team, feels that they have to work on the assumption that this is a larger series of planned attacks. Uh, they may be wrong, maybe it's just a one-off, but they're working on the assumption that there's more coming and, and they don't want to be caught by surprise. So they're pulling out all stops to throw resources at it, and that's what raising the terror alert level allows them to do. Greg, some people have suggested the fact that the UK is in the middle of an election and that the move to deploy the army could perhaps be a political one. If there is an imminent threat, how necessary is it to put these boots on the ground? Well, it's fair that people are, are, are skeptical. I mean, to be fair to the Prime Minister, her response so far has been measured. We, we're told that she called the leader of the opposition, Jared Corbyn, uh, at 4 a.m. to explain what she was doing and to work through an agreement to suspend campaigning on both sides. And I think uh, as long as it's managed in that measured fashion, people will accept that this is not a party political move. Of course, it has the potential to go that direction. Uh, I think that at the moment, and people were reeling with the shock of the second largest terror attack in the UK, the first one, of course, being uh, the uh, July 2005 attacks in London, people are prepared to see the government doing something extraordinary. Um, what they don't want is a situation in France where a, a state of emergency carries on month after month. I don't think that the people of Britain see it in the way they should be doing things, but they, I think, will, will ex for the time being, this focus on. Uh, an abundance of caution, assuming the worst case scenario and, and working towards that. And seemingly leaving nothing to chance. Greg, thank you for that update.